but I truly believe that if they looked more into my blood type, they could develop a better cure than what they're doing right now. Well, in the meantime, yeah. I'm just trying to, like, be able to collect your stuff without getting anybody yeah. in trouble, you know? Yeah. And um, let, me, let me ask you a nurse right now. Um, do you guys know how I would go about finding, um, so my mom can get information about what's happening to me? I don't really... My social worker, apparently, whom I have not even seen yet. Okay. I don't know, um, but are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay, Hope. I'm fine. I just got home. I slept in today, probably like you. Um, I, you know, I was just up and about a lot yesterday, and then we found a, a it's a arcade up in Guthrie, and it's so cool. And it's only six dollars to get inside, and then you can play all the games for free. And so oh. we took the kids there last night. Um, my friend Renee told me about it, so we went up there with her boys, and um, they just we played video games for like two and a half hours. They wanted to stay later, but I was so tired. And yeah, um, you know, I'm just I'm trying to you know pack your stuff and get it like. Uh, together at your other place and they want to help me um, but they but we need to do it legally that way like once you leave there you don't have to go back to the apartment you don't have to collect anything from them I'll have everything what do you think what do you think is gonna like what do you think is gonna look like when I like leave here like have you contacted my school mom yes I did I I know LaDawn is your your worker i've talked to her and they, she's already sent a message to all of your professors that everything's on hold for now and they're not going to so give you gonna... they're not going to fail you it's it's like oh, a yeah. yeah you're not going to be failed so you can pick up where you left off at um a later date oh my but God. <laughs> yeah so you're fine that was really stressing me out i knew i knew the school kind of knew what was going on with me sort of you know yeah. Yeah, I'm really, really glad you got that. Yeah, she was she was concerned. I mean, when I talked to her and she gave me her personal number, so um I we've gotten that taken care of and you know, you'll be able to resume at a later date. I I honestly I, mean, um, I just think that like I just don't good. I, I, sorry, sorry, I just sometimes I feel like I don't know, I just don't I felt like I got a lot of messages when I was in your house, subliminal yeah. messages well, and stuff. Well, you were, like, you know, in the eye of the storm, essentially, and, I mean, you know, I think that, like, once you... Oh, wait a second. How's your fever doing? Let me ask you that. Um, I'm fine. I'm fine. I, it was, like, 99. Oh, um, so my last time was 99. Okay. But, like, but it wasn't when I was at the other facility before I came here... Mm -hmm. I had very abnormal readings. Yeah, like yeah. over a hundred. Yes, yes, and and they didn't really they didn't really tell this this facility that I had multiple abnormal readings. Um, but when I entered the first facility, I think I had taken in a lot of radiation. Do you think I took in radiation? I I don't think that you took it. I don't know where you would get radiation from. I I honestly don't know. I, I I don't know. I accidentally killed myself in that room. That's what happened. I I put a piece of paper in the the eye hole of the door, and then I put a a wooden tray up on the thing, and I just kept saying, "Die, die, 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 Oh, that's when, that's actually when I called the, so that day when you went back to your apartment, I had, yeah. you, you promised me and I had said to you, could you please make sure when you get home that you contact me to let me know that you're okay. And when yeah. you didn't, um, I know Russell came over and tried to talk to you, but you told him you, you, you were yelling at Russell to leave. 
And then, and he was afraid. He said, I was wearing my NASA ball cap, and I think my NASA ball cap scared her. So that's when, when, when you were yelling at Russell and he finally left. Well, there's, I don't know. I mean, I told Russell that he needs, uh, I don't know. I still feel, I still feel like my reality was a little bit, my re- I mean, that there was something valid about it. Um, well, another police officer. All I know is that I, I was pretty sure that Jim was, Jim had rigged um, our plumbing and he was putting the shit into the lagoons and he was putting the shit, the piss into the pool. And, you know, as weird as that, every house we ever lived at, we could never grow grass. And Jim ate. We all were aging, but Jim never aged. Jim's never aged the Jim worst. Age. Jim looks the worst out of all of us. He looks so old. If you look at him 10 years ago, he looks like he was 20. Now he looks like he's like 60. He's got the worst lines in well, his face. all I know is that I got a lot of messages from other people that I did see. You know, like I was on YouTube and like, I just felt like I was getting a lot of subliminal messages. And then... Well, the fact that you you're know, talking about this as if you're kind of comprehending that, you know, you were receiving messages, but you're kind of analyzing it from a different perspective, it it gives me a little bit of hope that you're starting to think about your reality, the possibility that, you know, um, things don't always appear the way they are, and... I don't know. I might have the ability to create reality. I mean... That's the problem. That's the, that's the issue here is, like, how, I don't know. All I know is that, you know, I was, I was, I had to be in mental institutions, like, my whole life, and I felt like, I, I really do feel like what I was seeing was real. I saw it, and whether it was my mind creating it or not, I was receiving those messages, and... I don't know. Well, what I know I is know. that you you had the Invecta injection, I think. And I had the what? It's, I think it's called Invecta or Invecta injection before you left the crisis center. And, yeah. you know, like, I think that, you know, as soon as you get in touch with, oh, God, I hope I have got to run to the bathroom. I am so sorry. Okay. But I just wanted to call and tell you that I love you, okay, you, and that I will, is this a permanent unit that you're on right now? No, this is not a permanent unit. They're going to keep me here for two weeks. They're supposed to me to the other unit, but I don't want to stay here. There's, there's no, and I, I need to get into a different program, you know, because it's really, it's really, really, really shitty being <laughs> here. Well, my it's understanding is shitty. I've ta- I've called a lot of facilities, and my understanding is this one has the longest history of actually not charging patients or their families and seeing patients all the way through till they can right. manage their medication on their own and be successful on the outside. And that's the goal is just to be able to manage the medication, to stop self-medicating and to, you know, continue on your journey with school and your life and have a successful life. And so that's what we're here for. But I really got to go to the bathroom, Hope. Okay, Mom, I love you. I'll Uh, talk to you too. Okay, and don't forget to tell your social worker, okay? I won't. I won't forget. Okay. Love you. Okay, bye. Love you too, bye.